Welcome to the amazing real-life stories of Aquarium Rehab. Much like dogs and cats, all animals here at the aquarium are routinely examined, and that includes all of our aquatic animals. We have several species of stingrays, and that includes yellow stingrays, which we have here in our shark touch tank. Our aquarists take really close care of these animals, and first noticed that something was a little unusual with this animal while they were checking the barbs um, that stingrays have at the ends of their tails. And we do trim the barbs just at the very end. It's the same material as our fingernails, so the trim is much like cutting your own nails. And he noticed during that that it appeared that there was a second barb behind the first barb. Following the initial exam, we decided to take radiographs to ensure that the retained barb was in close contact with any other vital structures, as the spine does run directly underneath this region. So we took radiographs, and it did show that the barb was near the surface, and the spine was pretty far away, so we felt like the best thing for this animal would be to remove it surgically. And that would prevent the barb from causing any continued inflammation or opening up to any infection. So surgery on aquatic animals can be a little bit different than what you would expect in a dog or a cat, but we still anesthetize them so that they don't feel any pain or discomfort during the procedure. So the way that we anesthetize fish here at the aquarium is using an anesthetic cart. And this is a cart that uses a recirculating water system to move water over the gills, much like an animal would normally when they're awake. So the water flows through the gills and then drains down below and a pump forces it back over the gills and that keeps oxygen over the gills as well as the anesthetic drug. So on surgery morning, we prepared the area with some sterile saline to try to get rid of any mucus or bacteria that might be around there that could cause infection. And then we carefully identified the barb and all of the structures associated with it and used a scalpel to dissect around it and separate it from the underlying tissue. Uh, the barb was then removed and we confirmed that all of the barb had been removed by taking a second set of radiographs. We did confirm that all of the material was gone and we placed a suture to get the tissue um, back closer together so it would heal a little bit faster. We also gave the animal an injection of antibiotics to prevent infection following surgery. And then we moved the animal to a bath of fresh salt water where there was no anesthetic drug so that it could start to recover. So today the stingray is doing really well and her surgical site is healing and she is back with other stingrays and eating well and behaving normally. So this was the first case that I have worked with with a retained barb um, in a species of stingray. And because the barbs do grow continually, it's not necessarily an uncommon problem, um, just something that I hadn't seen yet. So it was really educational for me to work through this case with my mentors here at the aquarium and go through the entire process of taking the radiographs, preparing for surgery, and then seeing such a great outcome.